What is going on guys, Ninja Hawk here. Today, I'm going to be going over the top 5 worst Skylanders in Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. These Skylanders are Skylanders you do not want to pick over everybody else in the game. When it comes down to just completely useless attacks, or just straight up horrible in general. I'm not going to say any more further than that because it's pretty accurate. So without any further said guys, let's get into it. Coming into the number 5 spot for the most ugly looking Skylander and hell, even my most hated Skylander, Ghost Roaster. Have you ever wondered why I never wanted to use this character? Because this character is useless. He may not be the most underpowered character, but trust me, in comparison to every Skylander out there, why would you ever use this character? Like, I know it seems pretty powerful, but let's be honest here, you get stuck in this weird animation and like, what the hell, like, I'm not controlling that, like, it's pretty bad. Like, he's really, like, just pretty, pretty glitchy and stuff. And also, what on earth would I use the B button ability outside of this upgrade for? Nothing. And I know people are going to be saying in the comments below, but this character seems to be pretty good. Well, yeah, try comparing him to every other character and you'll see why this character is not good. Now, I know people are going to be saying upgrade to the X button ability, and yeah, I know, that's the only reason why this character is not number 4, but let's be real here. By the time you finally do that, you would rather play as characters like Zook, which is so much better, and so many better characters out there. Also... Just as that, but like his B button without upgrading it is one of the worst abilities in gaming history. And when you finally upgrade it like you have seen on my video, well, yeah, by the time you do that you would rather play as every other Skylander. And let's be real here, there are so many better choices, why pick this character? Coming into the number 4 spot, we have Warnado. As much as this is my favourite looking Skylander, let's be honest here, this character is not as good as everybody else would be thinking that I have never played Skylanders. I mean, his attacks aren't that bad, but the thing is, what the hell is this A button? It's so slippery. And also, holding down an A button doesn't really protect you like it says it does on the thing, so that's like a false advertisement. Um, and also, the only good thing about him is that B button ability. The X is, X button ability is powerful, but why would you pick it over Ghost Roaster's um, skeleton thing? But I will say that, that it is useful, his B button upgrade, but if you pick his X button upgrade, you make him even more useless than he is. However, I will say now that the A button, not just because he's slippery, but also, man, holy crap, I didn't expect to Expect that to be a bit glitchy as well too. Damn, that's like somebody else higher on this list. You may be wondering, why is this character not number two? I'll tell you why, because this character has amazing B button upgrade, but otherwise, just like Ghost Roaster, why pick this character when you've got so many better options out there? Not just that, but like his A button, as you can pretty much tell by my video, yeah, it's slippery as, and yeah, that's also another negative about this character that makes him worse than Ghost Roaster. But otherwise, his damage is not bad, and yes, he is better than what people say on the internet anytime soon. And trust me, there is someone that looks worse and plays worse that's higher on this list. Coming into the number 3 spot, we have Wrecking Ball. What you're about to see is how useless Wrecking Ball is. This character may not be the most useless character, but let me tell you now, in comparison to every other Skylander, this character is really useless. Like, I mean, just like, not even in comparison. Damn, and look at that glitch. <laughs> like, just that glitch right there with Wrecking Ball, just, just wow. And holy crap, all I can just say about this character is this character is very glitchy too, and if you're wondering why I was aiming so terrible with the uh, tongue attack, it's mainly because this character has clunky movement, like look at this, I'm moving left and right and I can't even do that. And although I know that I went down the burp up there, which is powerful, and also that's the reason why this character isn't high on the list, because it has somewhat of a decent 
power, but as in for the rolling thing, but like in comparison to everything else, why would you pick this character? And also it's really slow on startup and damn, look at how much this A button takes to take down these guys. I'm sure I'm gonna get people saying but the long range makes up for it, but does it really make up for it when the character does so piss weak damage? Okay, what about the B button upgrade? Okay, where to begin? Yes, it's a rolling thing, it's pretty powerful. But otherwise, that's only because I used that upgrade. But otherwise, if I just spam the B button, it's as useful as me farting at someone's face. That's how useful it is. And that's not even charging it up. And by the time you can finally charge it up, it's so unsafe too. Just to even, you know, get it out without taking a hit. And good lord, that A button sucks. The only reason this character's not number two is because the the uh, rolling burp upgrade. That's it. Coming into number two spot, one of the worst looking characters, Drill Sergeant, aka what I call Drill Garbage. Have you ever wondered how useless Drill Sergeant is? Well, now your day has come. Now you'll see why I hate this character ever since young age. This kid takes forever to kill, like, holy crap, like, look at that, like, look at it, and it even has cooldown time, like, what the hell is this? Also, this character has, well, without, <laughs> without a doubt, just such garbage attacks, like, holy crap, did it really need to take that long just to get my bloody missiles back? And I know that there are going to be people saying, The Ninja Hawk, you picked the wrong upgrade, you picked the missile upgrade. And yeah, I know, but look at how garbage that is. Like, who wants to use this character? Where to start with one of the ugliest looking characters in the game? Alright, let's begin. This character has a horrible A button that, oh my god, four shots. God damn, that is so weak. And also, the B button. Damn, that took forever to kill a decent enemy. The X button upgrade, yeah, you can make the X button much better, but you have horrible controls and it's so fast that I even wondered did they even test it properly. The only reason this character's not number one is because you can make his drills amazing with his drill upgrade, but in the cost of doing so, you make the B button even slower and you make the drills just as useless as when you got him at level 1. What the hell is this? Did they even test this character? Because all I know of is they sure didn't. Before we go to the number 1 spot, let's go over three dishonorable mentions. Coming into the number one spot, by far the lamest, worst, terrible, and all around bad Skylander in Skylander's history, Flame Slinger, aka what I call Lame Slinger. Before anybody can hate me for saying this character's number one, let me just say now, let's test how useful this character really is. Let's see. One, two, three, and oh my god, that doesn't kill him on the first go. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, and it only killed that guy just because he went next to the flames. Okay, let's see without charging. Three shots. Three shots. Are you kidding me? On those easy guys. Okay, let's see if, if his B button will do anything to fix this sort of situation. Wow, it is just as effective. Okay, maybe if I get more flames, hopefully it'll do something. Okay, it takes forever to pull it out, but alright, maybe it will do something else. 
And yeah, unless you and look at how useless that was. Okay, maybe we should, let's try out some other techniques of this. Let's see how long it takes without charging up to kill these guys. What the hell? Five shots. Five shots, and sometimes it kills on six shots. How useless is that? Oh my god. Alright, let's see if his X button will do anything without the actual thing. Okay, and it's just as useless. Okay, maybe if I use his upgraded path. Yeah, just to do that. Yeah, and I wonder how long it takes just to get me out of this. Five seconds for a huge delay before using it. Useless. Alright, let's see what his charge of attack does. Alright, and... What do you know? It's useless. Look at how useless that was on those wind elemental things. Sorry, air elemental things because I keep getting freaking confused. Alright, maybe let's see if this flame thing will do anything against somebody. Oh my god, that was just as useless as it was before! Look at how useless that was! Oh my Jesus Christ! Where to start with this character? Horrible kill time, horrible everything. The X button, oh my god. That thing takes forever to kill without actually doing the giant circle. And guess what, if you don't upgrade it, it's useless. What the hell? And even when you upgrade it, well, by the time you finally pull off that move, you would rather pick awesome characters like Chop Chop, Spyro even, or hell, even freaking Trigger Happy. Who wants to play as this garbage? Not just that, but he doesn't even look that good in design too. He has terrible upgrades, terrible movesets, and he is so useless in multiplayer too. In fact, I'd say he's even worse than, than, than he is in the campaign, and that is just how bad he is. Also, who on earth is going to prefer him over every great character out there? And yeah, my gameplay shows how good he really is. Sorry, how terrible he really is. There is no use for this character, and you are better off playing as every other character instead of him. Hell, I even remember when I bought every figure in Skylanders, and I remember when I was buying this character for the first time. Sorry, when I got this character for my mum for the first time, that... I knew this character was going to be the worst character in the game, and I was damn right on that. What a real shame that a character could have been so much better, but yet lame and pathetic as ever. Flameslinger, aka Lameslinger, is so bad. He is one of the most useless characters in gaming history. Definitely deserves number one, the worst Skylanders for Spyro's Adventure list.